Today we are checking out one of the newest master plan communities here in West Roseville, one of Sacramento's top suburbs. It's one within the boundaries of City of Roseville, so you get to take advantage of the amazingly affordable utilities that are amongst the lowest in the state of California. Number two, it's zoned to Roseville School Districts, so you have top-notch schools to choose from. Three, it has lots of open space and walking trails and a creek, so you can take in nature. Number four, it has various housing types to choose from, with prices remarkably starting in the low 500,000s. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, so if you haven't been to the channel before, I'm Danny and this is my wife Shantae. Today we are going to share everything that you need to know about this up and coming master plan community in West Roseville called Winding Creek. We are going to be breaking down the housing options, schools, parks, trails, nearby amenities, and future developments. And you definitely want to watch the whole video as we are going to be highlighting some of the cons for this community too as we go through each topic. So where exactly is this community located? Well, we're at the intersection of Blue Oaks and Westbrook Boulevard. This community borders the popular and well-established Roseville communities we have done vlogs on previously, which are West Park and Fitment Farm. This community puts you about 15 minutes to Central Roseville, where you'll have Highway 65 corridor with all the big box stores like Target and Costco, Walmart, Home Depot. Plus, you have Sacramento Region's premier shopping that you've probably heard about, the Roseville Galleria Mall and the Fountains. You are also about 35 minutes to Sac International Airport, 40 minutes to downtown Sacramento, and with the future extension of Westbrook Boulevard to Baseline, that commute will probably shorten by about five to 10 minutes. The location of the community off the Blue Oaks Corridor allows for easy access to the thriving Blue Oaks Corridor that offers an array of conveniences, shopping, and food. Stick around and we'll share more details on this later in the video. Winding Creek is a 461 acre master plan community and will include 2,000 non-HOA homes at full build out. Four community parks, three and a half miles of trails, 140 acres of protected land or open space, one future elementary school, and one future commercial site. The community is in the city of Roseville incorporated boundaries. Note that not all Roseville new construction is in incorporated Roseville. The unincorporated areas do not have the same benefits that you get here, like cheap city of Roseville utilities, as well as access to city of Roseville services like police and fire versus county resources. This community also offers some attractive price points between 500 and 800,000, allowing more people to be able to afford to live here. Phase one neighborhoods started building in 2021, and most of those communities are complete or nearing completion. And phase two has already broken ground with new communities and models opening soon. So it's a great time to get in touch with us to see if there may be a good fit for you here. When it comes to the community vibe, you'll find a wide range of people with many families relocating to this area due to the schools. Since we don't have a ton of resale inventory in West Roseville, new construction has provided a relief valve for many trying to move here to the area. Plus, who doesn't like shiny, new, and warranties included with their home, right? Right. <laughs> also, even though this is a non-HOA community, the volunteer-ran Creekview Neighborhood Association was established this year. They've already started bringing the community together for holiday events. We highly recommend getting involved in monthly meetings or your neighborhood association to stay aware of what's happening in the area and give input to important things like parks and future commercial development that will continue to shape this community. I'm the president of the West Park Neighborhood Association and it's been very informative to be involved. Now let's go check out some of the builders and housing options that are in phase one of this community. These are DR Horton homes behind me and they offered more of an entry level product in phase one with prices in the 500,000s for two stories between 1,500 and 1,800 square feet. This community sold out, but stay tuned, we will share their upcoming community in phase two. Stepping up from DR Horton, you have Cahovanian, which also offers only two story homes, mostly in the 600,000s. I would say the highlight of their current community firefly is they have one of the most affordable multi-generational plants priced around 700,000 and they have some decent sized backyards. 
they still have availability in this community but are getting down to their last set of lots. Which we actually just got a YouTube buyer and contract here. Another builder that has developed not one but two communities in phase one is Meritage. Their communities offer a mix of single stories under 2,000 square feet as well as two stories as large as 3,200 square feet with up to five bedrooms. I feel like Meritage offers a little nicer design package and had some great lot sizes priced in the 600 to 700 thousands. We looked at some of these homes in phase one that had 40 foot backyards, which is really hard to come by these days in new construction. The last builder in phase one that is still building is Richmond America. This Winsong community has a prime location with lots backing up to open space and trails, several home cul-de-sacs and price points from the low 600 thousands for their smaller single stories to the low 700 thousands for the largest two stories that's just over 2,600 square feet. Out of all the, all the builders, this is the one builder in phase one that you could customize your upgrades if you locked in the lot early enough. Did I tell you about that time that I almost died of showing houses here? So I go to show a house. It's against this open space right here. Here, show them this open space. So they back right here to this open space. Uh, we go up to the front door and there's this big old wolf spider. They're like that dollar coin size. They carry a gazillion babies on their back and they scatter normally if you touch <laughs> them. And uh, let's just say uh, I do not like spiders. He's a spider killer in the household. It took absolutely everything in me to go through that door without having a heart attack. Um, but our client got a nice laugh out of the situation. So there you guys have it. So guess is um, there is a warning to those that don't like spiders and snakes and all the other critters and coyotes. You may want to avoid lots that back up to this open raw land and definitely have monthly pest control service to help keep those things out of the house. Either that or go live on the moon or a bubble because it's their land, not ours, so it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, before we head across the bridge to see phase two housing options, let's talk about this open space, creek and trails, which is the major highlight of this area and why the community is called Winding Creek. Right. The community has three and a half miles of trails and 140 acres of protected land, and you can connect into the trail system that goes along Pleasant Grove Creek, into Fitterment Farm and Crocker Ranch. The trail system in Roseville is amazing. In terms of the parks, one con to new areas is it does take some time to get the parks developed, often several years from the first home being built. Roseville has a tremendous amount of growth and new park demand. So basically the parks get put into queue and as developer fees are collected and they reach certain thresholds, they can start having community design input, getting bids, and eventually breaking ground on the park. Now there will be four parks in total in Winding Creek, but for now you will want to leverage the numerous parks nearby in communities like West Park, Fitment Farm, and Crocker Ranch. There are so many to choose from in Roseville, and if you have kiddos, you are sure to end up at many of these for their sports activities. Overall, Roseville does an outstanding job with their parks. In fact, Roseville Parks and Recreation and Libraries is a finalist this year for the prestigious National Gold Medal Award for Excellence in Park and Recreation Management. Now, before we head over to what's coming in phase two, if you're new to our channel, we want to remind you that we are licensed realtors and we love helping our viewers find the perfect area and community, whether it's new construction or resale homes. And the best part, it costs you absolutely nothing to utilize our services, knowledge, and expertise to purchase your new home. So whether you're moving next week, next month, or even next year, you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, or book a Zoom in the description below. The sooner you book your discovery call with us, the sooner we can help guide you and your family to that perfect home. Now let's go check out phase two. As we head across the bridge, we can see phase two of Winding Creek starting to take shape. We will have some new builders entering the community as well as some of the established ones opening additional communities. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap that little notification bell as we will be bringing you the first look as each of these new neighborhoods opens their models. DR Horton is opening their latest community, Dragonfly, after selling out their phase one community, The Wilds. They will have 77 two-story plans ranging from about 1,500 square feet to just over 1,600 square feet, three to four bedrooms and two and a half baths. 
It's part of their Express series that targets entry-level buyers with more affordable finishes. So prices starting from about $525,000, which is a great price point to get into the Roseville area. Meritage is currently pre-selling their next community, Traverse, as they have successfully sold out a couple of their other communities in Phase 1. Traverse offers all two stories from 1,600 square feet to 2,200 square feet, with prices starting from the mid 500,000s to the mid 600,000s. They have some lots that face the creek area, and we already checked out some of the backyard sizes, and they're pretty decent. Now moving on to the first new builder coming to phase two that wasn't in phase one, but builds a lot of homes in the area is the builder Lennar with their neighborhood Meander. It looks like it will also be a two-story only community with homes around 2,400 to 3,000 square feet. So if you're looking for a little bit more space, this might be a great option. Plus they have the everything included when it comes to upgrades. So you tend to get a good bang for your buck. These will be priced starting from $670,000. Moving on to the final builder that has a community in the works is Woodside. I'm excited for their wildflower community. This community is going to offer plans up to 3,200 square feet with five bedrooms. They have some great floor plans for families with built-in flex spaces, workout spaces, Jack and Jill bedroom and bathrooms, junior suites, and many more exciting design features. They also tend to offer a higher level of upgrade options. So it will be interesting to see what they offer in this community once they open up. The layout of this community also offers several cul-de-sacs, which is always nice for kids to be able to go out and play safely. And they have some lots that are facing the open space. Before we move on to the next hot topic, if the information we've been sharing so far is helpful, please make sure you help our channel out by hitting that like button and leaving a comment or question below on what you like or dislike about this community. So the good news, like we mentioned earlier, is this community is in Roseville Unified School District boundaries, which is what a lot of families are looking for if they are moving to the area. However, one of the cons of this community currently is school proximity. Eventually, there will be an elementary school right here within the community on this parcel behind us. But as of now, you'll have to go a couple miles down Westbrook to attend the newly built elementary school, Westbrook Elementary. And prior to that opening, they were sending kids to Diamond Oaks Elementary. So you may find kids in the community that attend both of these schools. Yeah. I will say the principal and PTC at Westbrook are doing an amazing job so far. So no con on the education, just probably not a walk slash, you know, bike ride situation. Yep. When it comes to middle school, Winding Creek is zoned to Cooley Middle School, which is about three and a half miles down Blue Oaks. The district will provide busing for students since it's beyond the walking distance criteria. The big bonus of this new community is the high school zoning. Kids in the 9th to 12th grade get to attend the West Park High School. It's about 1.9 miles away from the community or a quick nine minute bike ride. We've mentioned this state of the art new high school in our other videos. It's like a college campus. The opportunities for these kids academically and athletically are fantastic. Now, we hear a ton of inaccurate data being shared when it comes to school boundaries. We find most realtors haven't invested the time to really understand these, especially when it comes to West Roseville. There are a lot of nuances when it comes to the school boundaries with five school districts servicing Roseville. So we don't want you to make a costly mistake based on inaccurate information. So once we narrow in on your needs, we can diligently show you how to find a home within the desired boundaries and the tools to use to always verify zoning for the homes you're interested in. So we've talked about housing options, parks, trails, and schools. Now let's jump into what amenities the area has to offer. At this time, closest to the community is the Rayleigh's One Complex at the corner of Blue Oaks and Fidiment that offers several chains like The Habit, Chipotle, Papa Murphy's, but also has some great local spots for Greek, Indian, and one of Danny's favorites, Garden of Eden. Not to mention, it has a UPS store for those Amazon returns. And a couple more miles down, you have a plethora of options at the Crocker Ranch Shopping Center and the Campus Oak Shopping Center that offers coffee, food, banking, nails, dry cleaners, a gym, and a future Ace Hardware, and so much more. 
And like we mentioned in the beginning, you are about 15 minutes to Central Roseville where you have Target, Costco, Walmart, Home Depot, just to name a few. Plus the premier shopping at the Roseville Galleria Mall and Fountains. Winding Creek also has this parcel zone commercial at the corner of Blue Oaks and Westbrook. Although no official plans have been submitted for this parcel, the concept images make it seem like the goal would be to have something similar to the West Park Village that we highlighted before in the nearby community of West Park, which brings some food and conveniences closer into the neighborhood. Speaking of future developments, it's important to always know what will be coming to an area or land within and around the community. And that's why it's important that we help you navigate your options when it comes to new construction and help point you to the resources to do the proper research. So make sure you book your discovery call today with our team. Here are some things that come top of mind that will be coming in the near future in this community. Number one, the expansion of the Blue Oaks Boulevard in Westbrook, plus future signals at, along Blue Oaks. Everyone is anxiously waiting for this so the kids can cross the street safer and traffic doesn't get backed up at busy times waiting on four-way stop signs. Also in development is a soccer complex off Westbrook Boulevard between Pleasant Grove and Blue Oaks. The 51 acre facility will feature 10 artificial fields and a universally accessible playground. The goal of the complex is to hold tournaments that will help bring in revenue for the city. There are two affordable apartment complexes that have submitted designs, one at the Lower, Bl Lower Bank in Blue Oaks and one at Westbrook and Vibrant Drive. A proposed development that sparked some community outrage was an industrial park past the Winding Creek community at Blue Oaks and Phillips area. The original concept has been shelved and Panatoni, the developer, is back to the drawing table after several community input meetings. Residents are hopeful that the developer can bring something to the table that enhances the community and the city is hoping it can be a revenue generating business park or something along those lines. So we will see how that hashes out in the future, but since it's nearby and the land backs to some of the phase one completed communities in Winding Creek, it's one to keep an eye on. Now, we pride ourselves in making an effort to stay up to date on the ever-changing area developments and be able to guide you to the right resources to make informed decisions before purchasing your next home. And that is why it's important that we help you navigate your options when it comes to new construction or resale homes so you don't make a costly mistake. We hope you found all this information valuable, but remember, we are here to help guide you every step of the way. The most effective thing that you can do is to go ahead and reach out to book your discovery call with us. No hassles, no pressure. We don't care if you're moving now or next year or even just in the early stages of considering a move. Our goal is to help understand your family's needs and help you navigate the steps involved with potential home sales, loans, relocations, and narrowing in on communities and areas that may be a fit for you in the Sacramento region. I mean, heck. We may even help you decide that a move here is not in the cards, and that is okay too. We just want to simplify the process for you and save you the headaches and stress of navigating so many decisions on your own. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. Go ahead, pause the video, take a screenshot. Our contact information should be popping up now. Give us a call, shoot us a text, and remember, it costs you nothing to work with us when buying a home. So leverage our experience and expertise to make your relocation and home buying experience a positive one. If you want to keep binge watching our content, we have so much more for you to watch in our Living in Roseville playlist that's popping up. And we have many other playlists for the greater Sacramento region too. Now go book that Zoom call and get on our calendar.